Hey guys, how are you today? So we are here with another episode of Just Add Water where we play with watercolor paints and see what we can do. I started my journey with painting with watercoloring and um, it's still my favorite thing. So um, I've been studying Jean Haynes for a while now. If you don't know who she is, I will link her website uh, in the description below, she, she's a fabulous watercolorist and author, and I've learned a lot from her, um, among others. I took this picture not long ago on a evening walk with my husband. We have these yellow flowers and bushes all over the place where I live. I think it's, they might be the blackberries. I actually don't know. I'm, I don't know much about plants, so if one of you all knows, I have no idea. Um, but they're so pretty and the color combination is so interesting and I really want to try a sort of Jean Haynes style suggestive uh, painting using this as inspiration. Um, I do suggestively paint things on a regular basis. I'm not really about realism so I want to give this a shot and see what happens. So I'm going to speed forward through my process and let's take a look. I'll be right back.
Okay guys, that's my fun little episode of Just Have Water. I really like the way this turned out. Uh, I like suggesting these little flowery bud shapes. It's really cool. I'm gonna link a copy of this picture into a Dropbox file or something uh, for you all. It'll be in the video description should you wanna print it and create any artwork from it of your own or you wanna use it on a journal page or something. It's free for you to use. I'd love to see what you do with it. Let me know. Let's start a conversation about it over on my Facebook group, A Life of Art and Self-Expression. Get out those paints. Get out those watercolors. Let's play. We're all shut in for the foreseeable future, so let's have fun with that and play with our art supplies while we are, right? If you don't know what I'm talking about this about because you're watching this in the future, Google the year 2020 and you'll find all about it, I'm sure. Anyway, that being said, don't forget to check out the video description, like I said, for the link. There's lots of other links down there, including my social media. I do art on a daily basis, and I try to take some kind of today's view picture of the world around me, and that I also share on social media. So if you wanna follow me on Instagram or something, my links are all in the link tree list of links which is list, linked in the description below. Wow, that's a lot of word, link words. Um, you can also support the free content here on YouTube or over in the Facebook art groups uh, in a lot of different ways. I have all those in the description below. Check them out. All of your creatives here on YouTube, most of them have some way that you can support the free content. I encourage you to find your favorite art YouTubers, check out their video descriptions and support them in whatever way they have available both here and most of them also have Facebook art groups. They provide all that content for free. We would all love your support. Um, that's it for today. Don't forget to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.